the lymphatics are going to try to kill stuff that's trying to kill you. You know I'm the lymph doc. Lymph is my jam. You want to know anything about lymph? I'm your guy. Interstitium and interstitial fluid is called pre-lymphatic fluid. Pre-lymphatic fluid. What does that mean? It's going to become lymph. And it become it, it changes its name to magically become lymphatics when it crosses into the lymphatic system. Okay? I want you to understand that I don't it's the same. Like interstitial fluid is lymph. It's just like when it crosses this border of my microphone over here, it's interstitial fluid over here, it's lymph. No, it's not. It's the same stuff. Right? And then once it's in the lymphatics, the lymphatic system is what keeps the interstitial fluid clean. It transports interstitial fluid. That's the main conduit. If that gets trapped, inflammation sets in, the immune system kicks into gear, you get pro-inflammatory cytokines. Proteins, usually interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha. Interleukin-6 is the one that's just... Interleukin-6 is the fibromyalgia chronic fatigue powerhouse. That's the one. And why you're like, why in the hell am I getting chronic fatigue? Because you're always pumping out interleukin-6 because you got trapped interstitial fluid deep deep and it's setting everything else off all right i want to stay on this subject for a minute because this is really important the the lymphatics are going to try to kill stuff that's trying to kill you you know i'm the limp doc limp is my jam you want to know anything about limp i'm your guy but i'm going to tie it to not just limp but every other system in the body that you have which is the biggest thing that people who do lymphatics don't know it's how does it relate to everything else so the lymph is going to now dump its end product after each lymph node kills stuff along the way and traps stuff. But you have to remember, if a lymphatic system is clogged, stuff stays in the interstitial fluid. And then what happens is that's what's feeding the inflammation. Okay? So then the lymph comes up. And the lymph will dump into what at that standpoint? Veins. Okay? But now lymph, when it dumps into veins, is called plasma. But to me, I'm just going to still call it the same fluid. It's still what's in the lymph now goes into the veins and they give it another name. Doesn't matter. You could call plasma a telephone. I don't care what you call it. It's the same stuff. And then from the veins, where does that stuff go? Out into the blood flow, right? The art arterial side. Because you got plasma there too. Same plasma. It just travels out. And now you got what in there? Oxygen, right? And then the arteries come out. And then the arterial system, this is really important, will create the cerebrospinal fluid. The cerebrospinal fluid is the fluid around your brain and your spinal cord. The cerebrospinal fluid comes from the vascular system, the arterial side, known as your choroid plexus in the brain. But Cerebrospinal fluid, everyone, dumps into lymphatics and dumps into veins all day long. So then arteries dump out again into what? Interstitial fluid. So what I want you to understand is fluids don't just stop somewhere. They all bleed into each other and affect each other. So when you have a problem with one, everything else gets affected. Okay. So even though they say these, that's a closed, there's this thing as a closed loop system in the body, okay? Because they're all talking to each other. So that's why my work focuses on fluids. Fluids is my jam. 
if you don't get fluids moving, you're in big trouble. Like even your brain and your nervous system are not going to work well if your fluids don't move. Right. So that's a big, big part of my work. That's one of the reasons why when I show you these techniques and you start to think of a bigger picture is that it's the whole system you need to look at. Is everybody with me? Okay. That's really, really, really important with my approach to things. So now that we know about the power of the lymphatics and helping chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, what can you do about it? Well, the first thing is the video is just a simple awareness that working the lymphatics can actually help that type of inflammation. At the end of this video, there will pop up a playlist that we have on our channel here where it's all lymphatic stuff that you can do, like our uh, famous big six that people use all over the world to help their lymphatic system. Um, I will tell you that with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, you're going to need more deep lymphatic work, and that's in our courses that we teach. We teach a lot of lymphatic work um, on our webcast. You can see that on our website, StopChasingPain.com. And we also have a self-help, self-care video, the Lymphatic Mojo Body Aquarium video. I'll put links to all those options in the show notes below. You can click on them and uh, go check them out. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Dr. Barry from Stop Chasing Pain. We'll see you on the next video.